George Bowie here. Um, I've just taken out a license at Red House Stables on Hamilton Road. Um, been training three weeks now and got my first runners next Wednesday. Come on, Jack! Come on, Jack! Come on, Jack! Come on, Jack! Just take him down gently. We'll take an extra turn. And yeah, we're good at that. Should be grand. Cool. Just keep him on the turn. Well done, mate. Racing's diversifying massively now, I think. You know, you don't have to just have been brought up as a trainer's son to be a trainer. I think, you know, it's, there's a bit more to it now. We've got eight in at the moment. Um, started with four and picked up a few at the July sale and bought one privately, cheaply, who runs on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, eight at the moment. Right, yeah, I'm getting to the three and a half, and I'm gonna steady it, and I'm putting up there. Yeah. You know, he, he's yeah, got yeah. that, that pace. He, he's like this then, and he can, yeah. I'll, I'll stop here then. It's caught nearly quarter to seven, so we've got 45 minutes. From a very, when I was sort of eight to ten at prep school, there was a racing post on the table, and I always end up reading that rather than the Telegraph. And it just kind of, it was a passion from very early, um, and I got into it. And it's and it's quite hard to get out, you know. It's it's a way of life, and I, I don't really feel like it's a job, you know. It just it's it's what we do. So. So on Wednesday we have Cotton Club and Three Cs, who I've just declared now, who are going to Bath. Um, Cotton Club was brought out of a selling hurdle last year, um, and he was meant to go hurdling down in Dorset, and he did, but it just didn't really work out for him, and like, he he needed a bit of a change of scene. He's come here, and like, hopefully we can find a bit of a spark. You know, he's an eight-year-old, so he's he's been around the block a bit, um, but look, he'll run under both codes, and he should be a fun horse. Uh, three C's was bought privately by Sam Haggis off Adrian Wintle in Cheltenham uh, and he runs in the 0-50 classified stakes at Bath, uh, starting low but he's, he's been a bit high rated in the past so fingers crossed we can get him back there. Uh, George Dryden is a seven year old gelding by Zebedee who was trained by Anne Duffield and Charlie Wallace, uh, was rated 104 once upon a time and is now on a lowly 71 so he takes a big drop in grade and hopefully we can find a bit of spark. everyone and welcome to Bath Racecourse. I am joined by the 27 year old George Bowie, one of the youngest trainers, if not the youngest trainer in the country. Yeah, I think Amy Murphy's about the same age as me, but otherwise we're the youngest too, yeah. 
George, a very exciting day. Your first three runners as a trainer. Talk to me about the motions right now. Oh, no, it's very exciting. Um, I never thought they'd all run on the same day, but the race is fitted for themselves and, and they're ready to go. So all systems go, really. We've got the grey to beat. Bill Turner. Okay. Some jump to go forward. The things that are going to rock and roll are a bit drawn a bit wider anyway. Yeah. So. yeah. Perfect. And we've got the colourway. Yeah. yeah. All systems go. Yeah. <laughs> Just take it off literally in about five strides. Uh, George Dryden, pink colours to two as a back from walk up. About here, I think. I'll come round. And set. Five and a half furlongs the trip here. They get out of Haven in yellow and blue. Jumps out well, but is restrained. And George Dryden, a pink jacket, goes through to lead. Case to Ra. Compatriot is next. George Dryden kicks clear as they make the turn towards the home straight and head down towards the last quarter mile. Moves on nicely, almost three lengths ahead. Lift it! Come on, Jack! Come on, Jack! Come on, Jack! George Dryden in front, but it's been. So well. We nearly did it. Off eight. Number one. It's a big camera. Third, the five devils rock. I thought he'd nicked it. I thought he'd nicked it. Yeah, so did I. Well done, mate. I literally just—he was happy where he was, and not too keen, so. No, look, look. He, the thing, the, the question was, would he stay that extra bit no. up the hill? He just didn't. No. Good man, aren't you? That's Right. Cut his tongue a bit. Yeah, you might put the tongue on it, yeah, mate. Alright, buddy. Let sure. me just lob it over. Yeah. Oh. Look, he's run very well, hasn't he? Delighted, really. Obviously, we want to win, but, you know, he's run a great race. We'll run him next week, I'd say. In good nick. <laughs> This one as well, haven't we? Yeah. We know the score. Jason yeah. wants to make it. I think Josie will drive up there from, from one, so just a handy ride. Cool. It's a really, really good program for this horse. Yeah. And just you know, obviously we're here to win, but yeah. let's get him in the right posse and do it the right way around, I think. Okay. And now the other one is coming. The first Horatio star is number two. Jason Watson, that's my chair. One to go. All in. Set. Go. Final three quarters to trip here. So they start near the two fellow and follow one to the winning post to complete a circuit. Our street jester greets these off to the right of the orange jacket of Butterfield with the first two to show. There's a reduced gap behind those.
Well, well done, Jack. Yeah, he's run well. Yeah, you, he's gone. He's That's right, they went lovely, Gala. Kind of missed it. You anticipate the start yeah. of it, but it didn't really matter. Yeah. Let me just think. Yeah. There's the highs and lows of racing already. Um, the first one's run a massive race. Jack thought he'd nicked it on the front end and just got done over the top by, by the outsider. But look, the, the main thing, like I said before, I just wanted them to run well and, and just show what they can do so in the future they can go on and, and win for me. Um, but no, look, the second horse, he's run a creditable race. I, I thought he might have been a tiny bit short and look, he'll improve for that and he might come back here for the, for the extended two miles, which he's already won over. Last pair for the Rainbow Casino Bristol Classified Stakes. All in. They're off. They raced away over the pile here. Seem to get away to a fairly decent break. Up deep on the course, yet another once a prominent position. The acclimation and spirit of Lucerne in grey and green jerky behind that is three C's. Also, heading down to the final quarter mile, Rock and Roll Queen has gone through to lead yet another. Catch it. Does. Very tight, but I think Guardiola over CDD, Park and Silla behind those, that lovely acclimation spirit of Lucerne and Bada. Oh, no, it was a great day. Um, horses ran great, and as I said before, that was really what I wanted. I just wanted them to, to run as, as I hoped, and, and they're in good form. And look, the first horse was clear with half a furlong to go, and we thought he'd hold on, but I think the stiff five and a half just stretched him too much. Cotton Club ran really well. Um, he's probably just tapped for toe a bit and he hit the front and they sort of stayed on past him. But I think we'll step him up and trip next time, see what, they're, see what the races are for him. But um, no, I was really proud of him. He, he did a great job. Um, and I think the last horse, he just missed the kick three C's. And Kieran just said that he didn't quite let himself down on the ground. Um, yeah. So next time, look, it's, it's quick here. Um, but we might go back to Lingfield where he's won before. Um, get on that golden highway at Lingfield and see how we go. Oh, look, we, we've got an assortment of horses that we took today, uh, two of which ran at Bath on Wednesday. And look, it's just nice for the older horses to, to have a bit of a change of scene. And it's something we did quite a lot in Australia. Um, and look, it's, it's nearly ice cold water. It's pretty fresh out there. And, and look, it's good for their old joints and knees. And it's just, you know, it's a change of scene. It's something different. And they're away, and Haraz uh, towards the back in the early stages, a little slow to go, cutting across Vincenzo Cocotti, catapult on the inside, blue jacket right to the four, three C's in the yellow with the light blue disc. Here's Purple Paddy, driven into second now, behind them is three C's, Billy brooked it, looking to cut the corner, here's Cooperest that leads, three C's giving chase, Vincenzo Cocotti down the outside, is flashing home, Cooperest, three C's, here's Vincenzo Cocotti with a head down drive, three C's getting on top, far side, close to the finish, and three Three C's wins for trainer George Bowie. A first win. Uh, Vincenzo Cocotti, Cooper S, Stonyford Lane running on.